we are quoted. Allah Subhanahu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If Allah wants to do good to a person, He makes him comprehend the religion. The fixed penalty of murder. Murder is loss of one's life due to an act or an effect on it. It is one of the gravest of the major sins, which makes it difficult for who commits it to go to paradise. So a Muslim must think carefully before they lay a hand to kill another Muslim. It was narrated from Mas'ud that the Prophet وسلم, said, The first issue to be judged among people on the day of judgment is that of bloodshed. Allah says, And do not kill the soul which Allah has forbidden except by right. And says, But whoever kills a believer intentionally, his recompense is hell, wherein he will abide eternally, and Allah has become angry with him, and has cursed him, and has prepared for him a great punishment. It was narrated from Abi Bakra that Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, When two Muslims are engaged in a combat against each other with their swords, both the murderer and the murdered will go to hell. It was narrated from Abi Hurairah that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, None of you should point at his brother with a weapon because he does not know that the devil may cause the weapon to slip from his hand, and he may injure someone, and thus he may fall into a pit of hell fire. There are three types of murder, intentional, quasi-intentional, accidental. Intentional murder. in which a murderer intends to beat someone in order to kill them, even if they die afterwards due to their injuries. Repentance of intentional murderer is accepted only after fulfillment of three rights. The right of Allah by regret and repentance The right of the murderer's ears by delivering himself to them, and they either kill him or they forgive him, and agree that he pays them a heavy blood money, diya mughalladha, and the right of the murdered. It is entrusted to Allah on the day of judgment. Allah says, O you who have believed, prescribed for you is legal retaliation for those murdered the free for the free, the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. But whoever is overlooked from his brother for anything, then there should be a suitable follow-up and payment to him with good conduct. This is an alleviation from your Lord and a mercy. But whoever transgresses after that will have a painful punishment. And says, and do not kill the soul which Allah has forbidden except by right. And whoever is killed unjustly, we have given his ear authority, but let him not exceed limits in the matter of taking life. Indeed, he has been supported by the law. Conditions of Retaliation The murderer should be rational and adult. The murderer should not be one of the murderer's parents. The murdered should not be a disbeliever that fights against Islam. Note that if a group of people killed one person, they would be killed altogether. Omar ibn al-Khattab ordered to kill five or seven men who killed a man in Yemen. He, Omar, said, by Allah, 
If all the people of Sana'a had killed him, I would have killed them altogether. The one who intends to drink an intoxicant and kill someone during his drunkenness, he will be considered a rational one and retaliation is taken from him. Quasi-intentional murder It's profession. No retaliation in it, but it entails paying heavy blood money. It occurs when someone beats a person and does not intend to kill them, but this person dies. For example, beating a person with a whip or a stick, driving a car too fast so that if a person appeared suddenly before the driver, they could not avoid him or her, If someone left their dog free in the street, and then it killed anyone. Accidental murder Its provision, no retaliation in it, but it entails paying a reduced blood money. Diya mukhaffafa For example, if you threw something at someone, but it was thrown at another one by mistake and killed them. Accidental murder occurred in the time of the Prophet in more than one occasion, and he ordered the murderer to pay blood money only. Usama ibn Zayd reported, The Messenger of Allah sent us to al huraqa a tribe of Juhayna. We attacked the tribe early in the morning and defeated them. Then a man from an Ansar and I caught hold of a man of the defeated tribe. When we overcame him, he said, No God but Allah, La ilaha illallah. At that moment, I attacked him with my spear and killed him. By the time we went back to Al Madina, news had already reached the Messenger of Allah. He said to me, O oh, Osama, did you kill him after he had professed that there is no God but Allah? I said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, he professed it only to save his life. The Messenger of Allah repeated, Did you kill him after he had professed that there is no God but Allah? He went on repeating this to me until I wished I had not embraced Islam before that day so that I would have not committed this sin. It was narrated from Salem that his father said the Prophet sent Khalid ibn al-Walid to the tribe of Jadima. Khalid called them to Islam, but they did not say Aslamna, i.e. we have embraced Islam, but they said Sabaqna, i.e. we have come out of one religion to another. So Khalid felt that they were playing on words and he killed them. We came to the Prophet and he was told of what Khalid had done. Then he raised his hands and said twice, O oh Allah, I am free from what Khalid has done. When does blood money of accidental murder become heavy? If a person is killed in the sacred house, if a person is killed in the sacred month, if a person kills one of his unmeritable relatives, Maharim. Allah says, And never it is for a believer to kill a believer except by mistake. And whoever kills a believer by mistake, then the freeing of a believing slave and compensation payment presented to the martyr's family is required unless they give up the right as charity. But if the murdered was from a people at war with you and he was a believer, then only the freeing of a believing slave. And if he was from a people with whom you have a treaty, then a compensation payment presented to his family and the freeing of a believing slave. And whoever does not find one or cannot afford to buy one, 
Then instead, I fast for two months consecutively, seeking acceptance of repentance from Allah. And Allah is ever knowing and wise. If you find this video useful, please like, share with others, and subscribe to get so many other videos. And as usual, thanks for watching.